Hello friends. In this video we will be synthesizing cyclohexene by the dehydration of cyclohexanol. Chemicals required for this synthesis are 20 ml of cyclohexanol and 8 ml of orthophosphoric acid. Start by fixing a 50 ml round bottom flask on a stand using a clamp and transfer 20 ml of cyclohexanol to it. Make sure that the round bottom flask is dry before transferring the cyclohexanol. Next, add 8 ml of 88% orthophosphoric acid to the round bottom flask. Phosphoric acid is the dehydrating agent in this case. You can also use concentrated 98% sulfuric acid instead of the phosphoric acid. A magnetic steering bar was then dumped into it. The flask was placed inside a heating mantle and was equipped with a dim growth condenser. Cold water was circulated through the round bottom flask. Heating and steering was turned on and the reaction mixture was gently reflexed for 15 minutes. The reaction that is occurring is shown in the screen. After 15 minutes, the reflex was stopped and the flask was allowed to cool down to room temperature. Then the flask was arranged for downward distillation using a Frederick condenser. Soon you will see distillation commencing. Everything under 100 degrees Celsius was collected. Unfortunately, due to my lack of attention, temperature reached 115 degrees C before stopping the distillation. That is not going to be an issue as water and other water-soluble side products will not be miscible with the cyclohexene. The boiling point of cyclohexene is 82 degrees C, so most of the cyclohexene will be distilled over by now. Cyclohexanol has a boiling point of 161.8 degrees C, and the boiling point of phosphoric acid is 158 degrees C. Both are much higher than what we have reached. So they will not be present in the distillate. The distillate contains crude cyclohexene. Now we will purify it. Transfer the distillate to a small separatory funnel. You will immediately notice two separate layers. The upper layer is our desired product cyclohexene. So the lower layer is discarded. Now the product is washed with some distilled water to remove any water soluble impurities if present. The separatory funnel was capped, shaked and ventured to thoroughly rinse the product. Then the lower aqueous layer was discarded. Now rinse the product with sodium carbonate solution to remove any residual phosphoric acid if present. Again the separatory funnel was capped, shaken and ventured. Again the lower layer was discarded. One final water washing was given and the aqueous layer was discarded. At last the product was drained into a small round bottom flask. The solution appears cloudy due to the presence of water. So anhydrous sodium sulfate was added to dry the product. After few seconds we notice clear solution and free flowing solid in the bottom of the flask. This indicates drying is complete. Now using a funnel and a filter paper, the product was drained into a small glass vial for storage. The final product I received was 5 grams. Now we will do a simple test to confirm the presence of unsaturation. To the test tube on the extreme right we have dichloromethane with bromine dissolved in it. To the extreme left we have an alkane that is hexane and in the center test tube we have cyclohexene. On adding the bromine solution to hexane nothing happens. But when it is added to cyclohexene the yellow orange color is discharged confirming unsaturation. Now moving on to the calculation part. Phosphoric acid is the limiting reactant in this synthesis. 97.994 grams of phosphoric acid should give 82.14 grams of cyclohexene. 
So after calculating the density based on 88% phosphoric acid, we have taken 7.04 grams of phosphoric acid and that should yield 5.86 grams of cyclohexene. The practical yield is 4.8 grams. So the percentage yield is 4.8 divided by 5.86 into 100 and that is 81.9 percentage. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and click on the bell button for notifications regarding my future videos. Thank you.